So who, who was, uh, who, who knows kind of like how all this started? Uh, like an actual story, you know what I mean? Like the background of it, some a little bit. Okay, good. Less than half the room. All right, so I'll start with that. Okay. Uh, and I was shooting an Instagram story on the way in, and I was thinking, okay, we're taking Team Notions in, and I was sharing on Instagram quickly, in 15 seconds, I guess, how in any business there's going to be cracks in the foundation, right? As you're building, as you're putting it together, as Landon was talking about. And every person you add, is potentially gonna fill a crack, create a crack, right? And as we grow, the cracks may become bigger, right? Maybe in time they become smaller. But overall, I know that, and I want each of you to know that you are here because we believe in you, we love having you on the team, and we know that you make our team better, okay? So one of the things I told uh, Andy, probably, I don't know Landon, probably, 18 months ago, you know, is that when we or 12, 18 months ago, when we started like shifting into him being a COO and hiring and all this other stuff. And he's back. He's going to pop in and out today. He's actually trying to get ready for the conference. So they got a lot to do in a couple days um, as him and I leave on Tuesday. When I was talking to him, I'm like, okay, we have a good team. A couple years ago, we need a great team, right? What we're doing for the insurance industry. I don't believe anyone has, uh, else has ever done in the way, the same way that we're doing it. So I said, from now on, when you're interviewing and hiring, I want you to ask yourself one question. In the middle of the interview, I want you to ask yourself, this person I'm about to hire, do they make us better, the same, or worse as a team? And we believe that each one of you make our team better. And I said, if you think the person makes our team the same or worse, do not hire them. And so I do believe as bad as I was at hiring people years ago, even though I had some great hires like Greg and Bailey and Kelsey, et cetera, I had a lot of bad ones, right? Andy is way better at that role than I am. And I feel like he's done an unbelievable job and we've done a great job of, of creating an amazing culture, an amazing team, People that like each other, you know, they want to play softball together. For some, re some reason, some of us want to play soccer together, as weird as that is. Okay. But we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to do it. Uh, for those that don't know, the full story of, of what brings us to today, whatever today's date is, I guess it's the 18th, is a week, week before 8%, otherwise I wouldn't know the date. Uh, I got started in the insurance industry because my dad's been in the business for 30 years. So my dad got started April 1st of 1990. He's been in the business over 30 years. I was born July 9th of 1990. So he, was, he he's started in the business three months before I was born. So I've been in the business, my in the insurance industry my entire life. And I didn't think, like on career day, most people don't stand up and say, yeah, I, I'm, I wanna be an insurance agent when I grow up. You know, I'm 10 years old, I really wanna go sell insurance, man. It's super sexy, I love it, right? Nobody. Me neither. So I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this whole insurance thing. Well, fast forward, I'm, I'm 19, I'm in college, I'm an intern, and I'm learning the business a little bit, making cold calls out of a phone book, et cetera, et cetera. And I decide to become a full-time agent. I'm someone that, <laughs> I don't have to tell you guys this, that uh, if anybody, if someone is doing something, I think I can do it, <coughs> right? I don't care what it is. I can never be as good at, at, at baseball as, as Brock is, but you better believe I probably think I can, you know? And that's good and bad. So I'm watching all these agents and I'm like, okay, I'll become an agent, right? So, so fast forward, I'm 20, I'm in college, taking 21 credit hours a semester, uh, which is which for those in, in college or recently out, that's, that's, a, that's a good amount of credit hours. Playing basketball, practices, games, tournaments, full time, right? You would say, well, when do you have time to sell insurance? Well, I had to find time. So I went into my first, and I'm gonna throw in some stories maybe you haven't heard before. I, I, I go to this recruiting meeting and the sales manager says, all right, all of you stand up, okay? And to give you guys a visual, let's have all the engineers stand up real quick. And he says, okay, and this is, this is real life. He says, okay, now take a look around. And I work, you know, I, I don't know, I, I didn't know what to do, so I was like sizing people up. I'm like, okay, I got you. I don't know, you may be pretty good, you know? <laughs> you know, 
know, that Dustin dude, I don't know, you know. And then he says, all right, one of you stay standing. Okay, so Bailey, stay standing here. Bailey, sit down for me. Okay, and he, he says something that lit a fire in me. And he said, maybe one of you will make it. Okay, you can sit down and think about it. He said, maybe one of you will make it. I'm like, that's a real positive way to start this whole deal, you know? <laughs> I said, but all I thought in my mind, if, if there's going to be a one, I am going to be the one, right? So I'll, I'll transition quickly. I, I did whatever it took. A lot of cold calls, a lot of cold door knocking. I didn't know a Landon. I didn't buy leads. We didn't have a marketing department, none of that stuff, right? I was with a captive company. Started out with Mutual of Omaha. And you had to sell friends and family, go knock on a door, or call someone out of the phone book, practically. That was it. Like that, that was that was like you know, and so I, I had some success. Made 117 grand in my first eight months, and really fell in love with the industry as a whole. I sold for several years, but I remember one story. And this is why I ended up starting my YouTube channel. I remember one story where I had a sales manager call me from Columbia, Missouri, and said, "Hey, I've got two new agents. They're really struggling, and they need your help." I'd like you to come up. I think I was 20 or 21 at the time. They're like, yeah. he's like, I'd like you to come up and door knock with them for the day. I'm like, okay, that's cool. You know, that's awesome. That's, that's, that's awesome. So I'm like, okay, I'll drive up. I spend the day door knocking with them. We made like five sales. They loved it. We had a ton of fun. I left the, the sales with them, didn't take any commission and drove home. Three or four hours home, whatever it was. And the whole way home, I'm thinking, if I can do this again in the future, I'm going to do it. Because I had more fun helping them make a sale than I ever did when I made a sale, right? Because I've, I've made sales where I made 10 grand in one sale. But spending time with them, I loved that. That was, that was huge. And so I, I left, transitioned several years. We, my father started Secure Insurance Group. I'm an independent agent. We're selling on the independent side now. We have a call center and some other things. And this, I don't know why, but I had seen some people doing some YouTube videos and I'm like, you know what? I know a thing or two about selling insurance. I'm going to throw up a couple videos. So I threw up my first one, December 29th of 20, December 28th, 2015. I threw up one three days in a row. Nobody watches. I throw up another two weeks later. Nobody watches. Literally for six to 12 months, like dozens of views. Okay. Dozens and dozens <laughs> of views. They like count on one hand every time someone watches the video. And it took, it took a year to get to like 500, you know, three to 500 subscribers. It took two years to get to like, to break a thousand, you know, it was like huge barrier and benchmark. And finally, it took some time. Agents started reaching out and saying, hey, can, can you help me? Like, I, li I like your videos, you know, can, can you train me? Can we buy leads from you? I'm like, I don't even know what a lead is. You know, what are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, can, you know, can we join your team? Can you know, et cetera, right? Do you have any events? And just the, the demand started to come in, right? They say businesses are created because of supply and demand, right? You got something to supply and there's a demand for it. You got something to sell. So I was like, I'm gonna start creating my own leads, right? So I started doing that and the company did well, but I always knew there was some missing pieces long-term to just being a traditional lead vendor. And frankly, I didn't love selling leads because every time I'd sell them leads, a large majority of the time, they would maybe come back and say, dude, I didn't make any sales. That's, that's all your fault, you know? Well, if I would have called the leads, I would have probably made some sales, <laughs> right? But can't say that, project managers, you know? <laughs> you not wanted to plenty of times, right? Fast forward and I meet, I meet Landon and we start working together and I hired him to manage and help with Google Ads to start getting our name out there a little more and getting people to come in and want to buy leads. And it was it was going well. We were getting along. We would go, you know, to and all hang out for dinner. And he'd invite us down to the Lake House. And before we know it, we just become friends, you know. And 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 he he doesn't know this, but even before he came to me with the idea of, of, of doing business together, I thought. Man, imagine if we had a Landon McCarter in house he, he, here in the office. You know, I'm like, that'd be. I think we could take this thing to a whole other level. Well, fast forward, uh, May of May 1st of last year, 2019. It's crazy. It's only been really 16, 17 months. You know, uh, 
nuts. <laughs> and he, he joins the team and we, have, we create Scourge of Marketing. We eventually merge the leads and marketing together. And like he said, when it is true, when he started, it was literally Lindsay, Landon, and Bailey. I, I, in the beginning, that was literally it. And that wasn't that long ago. I had a third of Bailey's time. Dude, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I, I don't, yeah, it's, it's insane. So that's that's what, like, fast forward. That's what gets us to today, and that's where we came. Now, yeah, we're throwing insurance conference. We've got forty-two people on a marketing team. Like, how freaking cool is that? I'm like, I never, I always dreamed maybe that would happen one day when I'm sixty. I'm thirty now, and it's like this is amazing. It's going somewhere, you know. And but we can't continue to go where we want to go. And the next piece of what I'm going to talk about is, is to get you guys thinking a little bigger about how important everything we do is. I truly believe that one day Secure Agent Marketing will have 10 times more team members than we have today. I truly believe Secure Agent Marketing will be doing 10 times more in revenue than we're doing today. And I truly believe that each and every one of you are meant to take this journey with us. And the moment it's about just the two of us, Lindsay, Lauren, etc., you guys are gonna find somewhere else to work, right? Lindsay and Lauren talk about it all the time about how, like, Landon and I, we wanna grow a massive company. Lindsay and Lauren, they want, we want what we're about to say too, but it's, a, it's just, a, you know, just a little different. They want to change the lives of all of our team members, right? And they talk about that more than you guys imagine, right? Lauren's been saying that, Greg, for several years, right? And we're slowly doing our part to get there. But I want you to realize that even though this seems cool and good and big, it is nowhere near where it will be. And I hope that you're a part of it. And I know that it's, we're gonna look back in three years, five years, 10 years, and laugh that we thought this was big. Okay, so thank you guys. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Hey, almost every insurance agent I know struggles with objections, specifically what to do and how to improve your closing ability. So I'm gonna talk through several different things, okay? I always talk about uh, my specific appointment process, the warm-up, fact-find.